Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I thought I will film my everyday um, work makeup that I usually do. The only thing I do change up is my eyeshadow and lipstick, and whereas foundation and everything usually the same. Um, sometimes I do switch up depending. So let's begin. Starting off every morning, I bring my tea up while I do my makeup. I always need caffeine or else it just can't function. So I'm going to begin by prepping my face as usual and I'm going to use my favourite lip product, um, the Lip per uh, Perfector. And also I'm using my favourite primer, as you know me, I keep using this in all of my videos. It's the Blur Primer, colour correcting and it smooths out my base so it's um, all ready to prep my skin. Um, if I'm if I don't have much time if I'm running kind of late I do allow myself like 10 minutes to kind of get every done it just depends usually in the morning it takes me um, 20 to 30 minutes I would say 30 minutes max is plenty of time which is a luxury but usually it takes me usually I have 20 minutes in the morning just like always I am gonna brush my brows and then using the um, eye pencil I am use, doing my brows I like using eyebrow pencil because I find it so much quicker I used to use um, powder before but I feel like it takes so much longer so this is so much quicker if you don't have much time in the morning but always start with his light strokes because it can be a bit harsh and I use the brush to kind of um, soften up the brow so if you do find like it's like a really strong color then just use the brush And then I'm going in with the concealer, the Kiko concealer, and just cleaning up the edges using a flat brush, of course. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty um, foundation. I have switched from the Fenty to this one now, so I'm currently um, loving at the moment. I'm just testing out which one I like. So far, it's really, really good. And I thought the um, the oud smell will be really strong, but I think once you put it on and after a while you don't smell it throughout the day but it's it's not as strong as I thought I, um, it would be so it's all right for my skin and the color I'm using is macchiato and it's very full coverage and it's quite drying on my skin so which is good to hold um, oily skin as you know I have very very oily skin And then I'm going with the brow and mascara to kind of set the brows. And I'm using the same concealer all over my eyelid and under the eyes. I like to, this is a skin tone um, color. And I don't like using any primers on my eyelid. I just find I don't need it or I feel like with primers, I just can't blend any eyeshadow. So concealer does a better job for me. I like to use it over my lips because my lips are quite dark so it just preps everything before I put any lipstick and everything else. So I'm going over with the All Nighter um, setting powder, my absolutely favourite powder of all time, can't stop using it. It literally mattifies and keeps my face from getting really shiny for longer as well. And I'm just setting my face with the Coconut um, Gerard All Day Setting Spray. I'm just going to let that dry for a bit and going in with the Kick-Ass Powder, I am um, adding that on my eyes to brighten up and I like to use that because I feel like it just creates even more powder and holds my eyeshadow for longer and I'm applying some under the eyes to brighten it up and I'm just going to finish my tea while I continue to do my makeup. So I'm using the Hoola um, Bronzer. I find that it's so much quicker and it's not very orangey for my skin tone. And then I'm going with the Anastasia and I'm using Angle Brush by Real Techniques and I'm mixing up the brown colours. I think it's Fawn or Dawn, one of those colours, I forgot the name. I've used this palette for a long time and I've run out of the banana ones so the powder has been lasting a very long time 
And then I'm going with my favourite blush of course, the Luminoso by Milani. And I'm using the same blush or brush. Then I am using the highlighter quickly. As you can see I'm getting, going in a fast motion because I literally don't have time so you have to speed up my makeup. So this, um, I'm using this highlighter of course by Laura Geller. All the products will be linked down below as always. I'm using the Real Techniques brush. And then I'm going with the Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions. I'm using the lighter colour as my base with a fluffy brush. And I love my teeth, so I'm going to finish that off. Then I'm using the um, the lightest brown in the palette and going in my crease, um, applying on my crease bit, and it's going to act as a transition shade. This is also almost contouring the eyes as well. Then I'm using that warm brown and going over the same area, but blending it really in. keep adding a bit more to intensify the colour and to make it stand out more. Then I'm using a medium brush and going in that deep red shade and adding it on the side and blending it inwards. I'm going back in with the fluffy brush that I used at the start and blending the edges out. I'm going in back in with that base colour and adding on my lid in the middle to make it pop a bit more. And I'm using a flat brush and using that metallic colour in the middle to add a bit more shimmer and keep packing in that colour. Now I'm going in with the MAC pencil in coffee on my waterline. And also applying it on the top lash line. Then I'm using a small brush and going back into that deep warm colour and blending out the liner to kind of smoke it out a bit. And I find using a eye, um, cold pencil better than using a liquid eyeliner. Um, if you're um, short on time and it's so much, it's so much quicker and saves you time taking it off as well. I find that I wear less of liquid eyeliner. Next I'm just going to curl my lashes because I'm not going to wear any false lashes so I'm going to apply mascara and I like my lashes to look lifted so again I'm going to go in with a setting spray before I apply the mascara so that the mascara doesn't go everywhere and I'm using my favourite Lancome mascara keep using that every single day and I feel like this uh, makes your lashes look like you've got false lashes so I'm going to add lots of coats of it. And then I'm going to use the MAC pencil in the shade Cork. And this pencil I use because it um, kind of contours the lip and adds a bit more definition. Next up, I'm going to use the Balm Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Reliable. It's a nice brown shade, perfect for like everyday wear as well. And I'm also applying um, the NYX um, lip cream in the shade London. Just to add a bit more lighter colour in the middle. And 
and that's my finished look. So I'm just going to fix up my hijab and pin it all in. And for work, I have to wear black. So this scarf is from Volley Chic and it's such a comfortable scarf. This is the way I do my hijab for work every day. And it's just quicker to do it like this. And I like to use a safety pin on the side because I feel like it holds it in longer without the pin coming off because I do find longer pins always coming off and getting loose. And then next I'm gonna spray some black opium. It's the Eau de Toilette and it's so summery, it's perfect for every day. And just checking up my phone for daily updates, things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you like it. Um, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to keep up with my video so you get a notification telling you when my video is up. Um, you'll be the first one to know when my video comes live. Um, videos will be up every week. So do also follow me on Instagram where I do update regularly. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you on the next video. Goodbye.